Hello dear students, welcome to a new algebra session. Today we'll be talking about operations on intervals. In example 1, if x is in the interval from negative 2 closed until 1 opened, and y is an interval from 0 closed until 3 closed, find by using the number line. Let's now go and draw the number line. The light blue number line is y, where the dark blue number 1 is x. So the question is asking you to find x union y. x union y, so this means all the values in x and all the values in y. So it will be from negative 2 closed until 3 closed. Question 2, x intersects y. Where is the part that is common between x and y? Where is the part that is covered by x and y? Yes, it's from 0 closed until the 1 opened because the 1 is not included in x. So it's from 0 closed until the 1 opened. Question 3, x differs y or x minus y. So, x, I take from it y. What are the parts in x after I subtract y? What are the parts in x that are not in y? So, it's from negative 2 closed until the 0, but the 0 is open because the 0 closed is covered in y. Question 4, y minus x, or what are the parts in y that are not in x? The parts in y that are not in x are from the 1 closed until the 3 closed. Question 2, if x is from negative infinity opened until 1 opened, where y is from 0 closed until 3 closed. Find by using the number line. Here's the number line. The dark number line is representing x, where the light blue number line is representing y. Let's answer the questions together. x union y. All x and all y. So, it will be from negative infinity opened until 3 closed. x intersects y. Where is the part that is common between x and y? Where is the part that is covered by both x and y? It's from negative 1 closed until 1 opened. Question 3. x minus y. Where is the part that is in x, but it's not in y? Where is the part that is only covered by the blue line? So, yes, it's from negative infinity open until negative 1, but the negative 1 is open because it's covered in y. So, it's from negative infinity open until 1 opened. Question 4 y minus x, where is the part that is covered in y but it's not in x? So it will be from 1 closed until 3 closed. Question 5, x dash or x prime, this means that everything except x, so it will be from 1 closed until infinity. Everything except x, only numbers except x, so, it's from 1 closed until infinity. Let's go now to example number 3, complete each of the following. From 3 closed to 5 closed, union element 3 and element 5. We're going to take these both together, but here the 3 is closed and the 5 is closed. So, it will be also from 3 closed until 5 closed. Question 2. Here the 3 is opened 
and I put to it 3 as element 3 and the 5 is opened I make union with 5 as element 5 then it will be changed into 3 closed up to 5 closed question 3 interval from 3 closed until 5 closed intersects 3 and 5 so the whole interval this is the number line for it and point 0.3 with point 0.5 what is in common in the in common is only points 3 and 5 intervals from 3 opened until 5 opened intersects these two elements so the 3 is not included in this interval and the 5 is not included in this interval definitely there is no intersection between them from 3 closed all the way to 5 also closed If I want to take away from them element 3 and element 5. So this means that it would be opened in here. So it would be from 3 opened until 5 opened. 3 opened to 5 opened minus 3 and 5. They will remain the same as there is no change in here. Question 7, elements 3 and 5 minus intervals 3 to 5 will be 5 because here, as you can see, that we have 3 and 5. These two points and we subtract from them these two. So they cross these out, nothing will be left for us, so this is phi. Question 8, elements 3 and 5 minus the interval from 3 opened to 5 opened, then it will be also elements 3 and 5. Interval 3 opened to 5 opened, union the 3, so we're adding the 3 to this interval, so the 3 will be changed from open to closed and the 5 remains as it is 3 closed to 5 closed except 5 so we're going to remove the 5 from the interval so the 5 will make it opened 2 opened to 5 opened intersects negatives 2 3 and 4 what is in common from this interval to this interval from 2 open to 5 open, does, not, does it include the negative 2? No, it does not. Does it include the 3? Yes. Does it include the 4? Yes. So the common between them is only the 3 and the 4. In question 12, from negative 3 opened until 5 closed, union negative 2, 3 and 4. Four. The negative 2 is already in here, the 3 is already in here, the 4 is already in here, so nothing is going to be changed. So it will be from negative 3 opened until 5 closed. Example 4, we're going to choose the correct answer. Question 1, from negative 3 closed until 4 closed, minus sets negative 3 and 5. Set 5 is already not in this interval. So it will have no effect. And the negative 3 will be taken away from this interval. So it will change this from closed into open. So it will be from negative 3 opened until 4 closed. So the right answer is choice B. 
If x belongs to from negative 3 until the infinity, then x is greater than or equal to negative 3. If x is in between 2 and 5, where x is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 5, so it will be from 2 opened until 5 closed. Now, how about the 3 to 4? Is it included in here? Yes, the 3 to 4 is included to here, so it belongs to x. Question 4. Element 3 intersects the interval from 3 to 6 at what? Yes, at point 3. 8, 9, 10 minus from 8 opened until 10 opened. So 8 is already not included. 10 is not included. The only one included is 9. So the 9 will be crossed out. Then what is left is only the 8 and the 10. Question 6. The sum of all real numbers in the interval from the negative 75 closed until the 75 closed is what? The real number is the negative 75, it has the positive 75. If you add them together, it's a zero. Negative 74, positive 74. Negative 73, positive 73. So, all the real numbers, when you add, it's negative plus it's positive, the answer is zero. So, the sum of all the real numbers from negative 75 closed until 75 closed is also zero. So, question six, the right answer is choice D. Now, we came to the evaluation part, and I always remind you, when it comes to the evaluation, pause the video, try to answer the questions yourself, then play the video again to check your answers. Let's now go and see the answers of these questions. The interval 2 closed until 7 closed. If I want to take away from it elements 2 and 7. So element 2 will be 2 opened. Element 7 will be 7 opened. So the answer is this choice. From 0 closed to 5 closed union. From 3 closed to 5 opened. So, if you do this one, it will be from 0 closed until 8 opened. So, we can also explain this to you on the number line to check this one. Here's the number line. From 0 closed until 5 closed. And then this one is from 3 closed until 8 opened. So in the union, I take it all from 0 all the way up until 8. The 0 is closed and the 8 is open. So this one is the right answer. Question C. From 1 closed to 5 closed intersect negative 2 opened until 3 opened. If we have a number line from 1 closed until 5 closed and then this one is from negative 2 opened until 3 closed. Where is the part that is covered by both lines? Yes, it's from 1 closed until the 3 closed. So here, this is the right answer. Question 4. From negative 1 opened until 2 opened, 
minus from positive one closed until four closed. So what's canceled is from the one closed until the two opened, then it will be from negative one opened until one opened. Question two, we have x is from negative infinity until three closed, and y is from negative four until positive infinity. Find using the number line, x union y, for the number one. Here's the number line, x is three closed, going to negative infinity and here's the negative 4 closed going to positive infinity so definitely it's all in numbers so it's from negative infinity until infinity question 2 x intersects y if this is the number line that we're going to work on. So, what is the part that is covered by both? Yes, excellent. It's from negative four closed until three opened. X minus Y, where is the part in X that is not in Y? Yes, it is from negative infinity until negative four opened. Question four, y minus x, where is the part in y that is not in x? So it's from three opened until the infinity. Question five, x dash or x prime, so it's the opposite of x, so it's from 3 opened until positive infinity. Question 6, the y dash, which is all the numbers that are not in y, so it will be from negative infinity opened until negative 4 opened. Dear students, by answering this exercise, we came to the end of our session today. Thank you very much and best of luck.